welcome back to the channel everyone and in this video we're gonna be going over all of the new dlc weapons maps operators and much more coming to the brand new vanguard season 4 update dropping next week Sledgehammer Games finally went ahead and revealed all of the new content, and we'll be going over all of that in this video. So with all being said, the like goal on this vid is going to be 350 likes. We can do likes in under 24 hours. That'd be absolutely incredible. And if you guys want to stay up to date with any and all best class setups, best settings, tips and tricks, or any new updates that do go live here in Vanguard, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and turn those post notifications. Let's get right into it. All right, so first things first, we're gonna be talking about all of the new DLC weapons coming within this new season four update. We are gonna be getting an SMG, an LMG, a melee weapon, as well as an assault rifle. Now, I'm gonna warn you guys, a lot of the weapons that are coming here in season four look like weapons that we already have, either in Call of Duty Vanguard or Cold War. I'm not even kidding. Now, the SMG is going to be called the Marco 5 SMG. I'm going to go ahead and put a screenshot of that weapon on the screen right now for you guys so you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. This looks like the H4 Blixen and the MAC-10 from Cold War used together. Now, the cool thing about this SMG is we can actually run this weapon at Kembo, aka dual wield. We're going to be able to have two of these in hand and mow people down. What do you guys think about this? Obviously, because of the weapon balance here in Vanguard and the DLC track record. This is most likely going to be a very good and meta SMG come within season four. I can almost guarantee you guys it's going to play exactly like how the H4 Blixen or the Whale Gun do play in Vanguard, which honestly would make it a top tier SMG in my personal opinion. I think a lot of you guys could definitely agree with that. Again, let me know down in the comment section what y'all think. The Marco 5 SMG is going to be available as soon as the season does go live. So be ready to go ahead and level this up and uh, get that Akimbo attachment. Now for the LMG, it's going to be called the UGM-8. I'm going to go ahead and put a screenshot of that weapon on the screen right now for you guys. So you guys know exactly what this is all about. Now this kind of looks like the MG-42 from Cold War. It's kind of strange, but obviously it's going to be the World War II variation of this gun. Again, it's probably going to play like the MG-42 that we already have in Vanguard. Probably a low recoil, fast firing LMG that's overall going to be solid and probably feel more like an assault rifle. I'm honestly not opposed to this because honestly, a lot of the LMGs have been outshined, way outshined by the Whitley. So it's going to be nice to have some more weapons in the LMG category that we can use. Now, obviously, we don't want this weapon to be too crazy, just like the Whitley, because again, we're going to have an epidemic where everybody on the map is going to be running around with nothing but LMGs with piercing vision, shooting everybody through walls. So hopefully this weapon is balanced. I'm putting air quotes around balance because, you know, the Vanguard track record, it's probably going to be nuts. This is going to be the second DLC weapon coming within this new Season 4 update. This weapon is going to be available immediately as soon as this season does go live. Now, for the third DLC weapon, it's going to be called the Push Dagger. I'm going to go ahead and put a screenshot of this weapon on the screen right now for you guys. You guys can understand exactly what this gun does look like. Obviously, it's just going to be a melee weapon, man. It's a gimmick. They have to bring these in every single season. to go ahead and appease to all the people who like the melee and also just to add some more filler content because let's be honest, melee weapons, it's nothing but filler content. We can live without it, but I know some people will like to use this and have fun in lobbies, so... If you guys are excited for it, we're getting a push dagger here in season four. This is actually going to come out soon after the season does come out, most likely before the mid-season update, because they said this is going to be a launch window weapon, meaning they're probably going to drop it a week or two right after this DLC update does go live. Now, for the fourth weapon, it's going to be an assault rifle. Now, this is strange. It's literally called the Vargo S. I'm gonna go ahead and put a screenshot on the screen right now for you guys. It literally looks like the Vargo 52, which we got recently in Cold War. So I don't know what this is. It kind of literally looks like an AK-47 and an AN-94 mixed in together. I wasn't kidding, guys. A lot of these weapons we're getting this season look and honestly, at this point, sound like weapons that we already have in the Call of Duty universe, either in Vanguard or during this whole Vanguard Warzone, you know, era we have going on right now. I feel like Sledgehammer Games kind of dropped the ball with this. Honestly, I definitely would not have dropped the Marco 5 and the Vargo S because they look like guns that we literally just got last season. But 
you know it is what it is man it's sledgehammer games they snooze 99% of the time so let me know what you guys think about this this is most likely going to be a pretty solid assault rifle the Varga 52 is a top tier weapon in Cold War it's top tier in Warzone so I can definitely see the Vargo S assault rifle being top tier in Vanguard probably going to be just like the Cooper Carbine if not better which honestly really wouldn't be a bad thing because we're only able to use two weapons right now in the AR category the Cooper Carbine and the automaton so more weapons to use even if they are overpowered at this point whatever go ahead and bring it down these are going to be the dlc weapons that we are getting during the season four update let me know what y'all think man we have a lot more to discuss that is coming to season four now as far as maps goes we are getting some remake maps within this season but the remake map that we are going to be getting is <laughs> i mean look i ain't gonna say nothing about it we're getting uss texas now in my personal opinion uss texas was one of the most questionable maps in call of duty world war ii this is a map from world war ii now i literally just made a video talking about bringing in some remake maps that we all love and enjoy and i was talking about cliffside and i was also talking about flak tower they decided to go ahead and bring in uss texas now a lot of people are upset about this because this map is notorious and i mean notorious people to camp and not move on so i'm really curious to see how it's going to play on vanguard because we have you know perks like piercing vision and a lot of overpowered lmgs and assault rifles i have a feeling this is going to be a very slow paced map but we're going to have to see how it does play out because you never do know what's going to happen here in vanguard so we're getting uss texas this map is going to be available immediately off of launch now we are getting another map that's going to be called desolation this is actually going to be a darker map it looks it looks like a darker cliffside in my personal opinion now again i was talking about how i didn't want to have cliffside come back as a remake map so hopefully there's going to be some type of variation of that maybe just in a nighttime mode so we can go ahead and experience it you know in a darker setting pretty cool honestly again i have not played desolation yet i have no idea what it's going to look like all i can tell you guys is from the map you know image that they go ahead and showcase us it looks like a darker version of cliffside which could play you know pretty decent here in vanguard let me know man again i really do wish they would just go ahead and bring in all of the maps from call of duty world at war as well as honestly at this point just bringing all the maps from call of duty world war 2 because they're already doing it already and it has kind of drop it as a massive map pap update so people can go ahead and have some more fun on some maps that we know we're going to enjoy and you know not uss texas again i'm not trying to be negative but realistically i'm just being real here fellas that's the most important thing about you know these dlc events and you know them doing all this content is you have to be honest with them uss texas is probably one of the last maps I would have brought back to vanguard just because of how people play this game right now and how it played out in world war ii but i'm not a game developer what do i know now finally in this update we are going to be getting three new operators one of them is going to be carver butcher i'm going to go ahead and put a screenshot of him on the screen right now for you guys man this is actually the operator that actually goes ahead and does all the voice acting in this game you're calling a uav calling a v2 rocket that's him so we can finally play as him in game during season four that's pretty cool honestly i do suspect this was actually supposed to be like a season five or technically a season six operator they just went ahead and bumped them up to season four so that's kind of cool let me know what you guys think about this operators i mean i don't really care about any of these guys because we're gonna see shortly they all look the damn same now we're also be getting this guy column hendry don't know who this is he's coming within in season he is i have no idea what nationality i have no idea what faction he's from but we're gonna be able to play as him I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys right now what he looks like and then finally we have it cannot allow I, again i butchered the name but i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what he looks like on screen right now we don't know these guys from any of this the backstory from the campaign none of that these are just operas they went ahead and brought in to vanguard that's the problem with these world war ii games because you don't really have any type of you know bond with the characters not like modern warfare where they're bringing in soap gas captain price stuff like that we're just getting complete randoms that all have the same green and brown skins that don't really the people don't care about them but you know again i'm not trying to be negative i'm just being realistic they definitely should have went ahead and brought in some guys from call of duty world war ii or even world at war as operators i think i mean honestly that would have been a better idea and it would have took no effort why are they trying again this is what i'm talking about this remake content stop trying on vanguard just give us the old stuff that worked that we are going to enjoy 
so we can go ahead and have some fun you know the last two seasons this game is relevant so again let me know down in the comment section what y'all think we have carver butcher callum hendry and akina olawi happy you guys again pronounce and i have no idea where they're from or have seen them in any other call of duty game so yeah hope you guys enjoyed man again i kind of want to go ahead and put my honest two cents on the new vanguard season four update and all the weapons operators maps etc we're getting this season let me know overall what y'all think about this season is it a w or is it an l i was bring up to find out but from what i've seen right here come on sledgehammer y'all could have done a lot better but again man if you guys did enjoy make sure you guys drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel and turn those post notifications it's been your boy ears i'm gonna catch you guys in the next one Deuces.